more than 60,000 motor vehicles are being imported into Nigeria annually and Lagos records 40% of that number. And over 1.6 million vehicles ply Lagos Road daily with an average of 227 vehicles per every kilometer of the road. Drivers around Lagos spend at least 3 to 5 hours per day stuck in traffic, generating pollution, frustration, and decreasing the life expectancy rates of this individual. As you are seeing me, I spent more than at least 3-4 hours here. On this axis, as far as I'm concerned, we are, we are spending money and we are suffering. This nightmare is typical across large cities in Africa and the world. In the absence of a federal plan, Nigeria's commercial capital, Lagos, is embarking on several projects to push and fix its challenges. But with a city to keep moving forward, a busy airport, traders and businessmen need to commute. And currently, with the Okada and Tricycle ban, the tax is not exactly straightforward to solve. This is Lagos' plan to reduce traffic congestion and should be emulated by cities across Africa. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and push the bell icon so you'll be the first to know when a new video is being uploaded on the channel. The Lagos traffic is mostly caused by one major reason, which is the huge influx of cars on a particular route. Lack of coordination of different modes of transportation is one of the major challenges. And the land use pattern in Lagos is such that it's lopsided. Everybody wakes up in the morning and moves towards the, the island which is the economic now center of activities in Lagos. The dream of every citizen in the state is to own a car, and given that Lagos is the most populated city in Africa, this is an overload on the roads of the city and causing the traffic. Several efforts have been attempted, but starting from 2012, as the ever-populated city was expanding towards the east, which is the Lagos Island, a bridge was needed to decongest the Victoria Island bottleneck. This bridge was needed to easily convert people from the Ikoi axis to the Leki axis and also satisfy an aesthetic need of the Lagos Island. Julius Berger was awarded the contract for 29 billion naira and upon the bridge inauguration in November 2012, Lagos not only got a new landmark but a slight relief from traffic along the Leki Ikoi axis. It now takes just a few minutes to drive from Leki to Ikoi. Started with challenge with Baja and they came up with this wonderful piece. And the rest, as they say, is history. Not only did they design it, they built it with our team, and we are proud that we have added to the architectural landscape of Lagos. Now, in 2018, the government decided to invest in its waterways, considering Lagos is surrounded by waters. The five calories terminal was built. This project was commissioned and launched by MTN through the public partnership with the Lagos State Government to encourage the use of the waterways and to decongest the Lagos Road and also encourage investors to invest in the Lagos waterways. And Uber bought the vision. Uber's boat initiative in partnership with Lagos State was a follow-up project. Just like you would order a cab, you can now order a boat. This initiative is aimed at providing commuters with an easy and affordable way to get in and out of the city's business district. Uber said there will be four trips per day, carrying more than 37% per trip. And now at the 5 carriage terminal, with as low as 500 naira, you can get to the mainland from the Ikoi terminal in less than 30 minutes. You know, the trip from Iroquois due to Falomo by boat is 30 minutes. That can pick two hours, two and a half hours plus by road, right? So Uber Boat is about us being aware and tuned in to what the specific challenges of transport are in Lagos and doing our part to see how we can work with Lagos State to try and address some of those. Another effort to ease the traffic on the Leki Ekpe Expressway is the construction of the Leki Regional Road. Regional Road is part of the development that will ease the future Fort Mainland Bridge. Which is expected to decongest the constant traffic jam along the main Leki Ekpe Expressway by linking the Ekpe Expressway at Victoria Garden City Junction to the Freedom Way in Eti Osa. This project is expected to run for the next two years and should be ready for commissioning in 2022. In addition to providing an alternative route for citizens, the road is expected to improve social economic activities on the Lekki Ekwe axis. This project would usher in the construction of the proposed Fort Milan Bridge, which is also expected to start from Lekki Ekwe axis and extend to Ikurudu and bust out of Lagos Ibadan Expressway.
and recently the state government embarked on the removal of some roundabouts identified as a major cause of traffic gridlock being experienced by motorists. The roundabouts we have on this axis, personally, they are too much. Because each time we the, the vehicles drive and they all cluster at the roundabout. Some are going to the left, some are going to the right. There's usually hell of traffic. Four roundabouts, including Ikotun, the first, second, and tenth roundabout on the Lekki Ekwe Expressway, Allen Avenue roundabout, Maryland will be removed to pave the four road expansion and free flow of traffic. The roundabouts were replaced with traffic lights, expansion of the roads, and provision of dedicated turning lanes as well as additional laybys. The fact is that the road construction in Lagos is not increasing fast enough to keep up with these migration rates and the daily importation of cars. However, the Lagos state government expanded transportation network by kicking off with the unveiling of the Lagos Peace Mass Transport comprising of two railway routes. The completion of this project is a top priority for our administration as it is critical for the achievement of our prioritized pillar of traffic management and transportation under our team's agenda. The project is part of the strategic implementation of an integrated intermodal multimodal transportation system designed to serve the growing population. Starting from Okokomaiko and terminating at CMS, the 26 km project has an end to end time of about 35 minutes, and the project will ease traffic by a greater percentage. Oshodi is unarguably the busiest transport hub in Lagos, with over 5,600 buses loading per day spreading across 13 different motor parks. It attracts over 200,000 passengers boarding per day, about 1 million pedestrians, constituting heavy traffic in that region. But with the construction of the Oshodi interchangeable lane, not only was the traffic managed, but it became an iconic transport and economic hub providing intra-city and inter-city passengers a seamless transition between transport modes in a safe, secure, and comfortable atmosphere. Thanks for watching this video. You can check out other videos on the channel and do not forget to subscribe for more awesome videos. Until next time, I'll see you soon.